All right, here I am, and he's gonna introduce and spell his name for me. My name is Osvaldo, O-S-V-A-L-D-O, -O, Flores, F-L-O-R-E-S. I come from Puerto Rico. Okay, and he's got family with him? Yeah, I got my, I got my two kids, so three of them. Yeah. This is Paola, that's Osvaldo, it's Miguel Bajavi. Okay. And my oldest daughter is, is Amanda. Oh, nice. So she's not here today? No, she's not here. She's oh. pregnant, though. Okay, I'd like to get in my phone and with, with you here and just say, hi, hi Lynn. Hi, Lynn. Hi, that's, Lynn. That's my wife. I oh. like to make sure when she doesn't get to come out here, she's in your spirit, but she can see. Yep. And when I give videos, I don't have to explain everything. Okay. You just see what God's doing. So tell me, um, Osvaldo? Yes, sir. Uh, about your ailments we're going to pray for before. Okay, I got kidney stones in both of my, uh, both of my kidneys. I got kidney blood. I got stones in my bladder. I'm type 2 diabetic. diabetic. I got also gastritis because I was eating less and taking too much pills. Okay. And uh, also I have um, anxiety and depression because I was in the war. I was in the Gulf War. Oh, okay. Um, I was in Birmingham during that time. 1990? Yeah. So you know about the power of God oh, and the healing okay. power. So uh, we're going to believe right now. I'm just going to hold his hand if he's okay with that. And, and what we're going to do, Osvaldo, is uh, I'm just going to hold your hand and believe that God knows best yes, what you need. Right? And all those things you mentioned, I like to tell people sometimes if we let him do what he wants to first, mm -hmm. he might touch you somewhere else. So relax, keep your eyes open. Right. And we're going to wait five or ten seconds because we already believe just based on your humility and humbleness. Amen. And you didn't flinch when I told you what I do out here. Uh -huh. And I've actually got my ministry vehicle today because my other one's getting some mechanical stuff done. And I love being in this one. I'm going to put a wrap on my, I got a nine-year-old BMW uh, okay. thing I bought used. I'm going to wrap it up and it's going to say all this same stuff. It's going to be nice. Good. All right, so wait five or ten seconds. Does God need time to warm up? Doesn't. We need five or ten seconds though just to chill down. We, we do bad. He's, he's good. Okay, so that's what I already feel the presence of God on me. So you, you wait, you tell me what you're you're experiencing in your body. Just wait on him. And do you have any pain right now? No pain, just like uh, discomfort. Okay. More than discomfort. Wait five or ten seconds. How do you spell your name, young lady? P A O L A. Nice to meet you. This is a happy oh, family right here. Yes, it is. This is part of the happy family over there too. <laughs> <It is. laughs> All right. So Azada, tell me what you're experiencing in your body while we're standing here. I feel like a little bit of heat coming through. Heat where? Starting from the top of my head. Some kind of a heat. Is that unusual? No. You oh, ever... Yes, it is unusual. So course. what do you think about that? It's God doing his work. Amen. I, want, I always show people this. I don't show it on screen. It didn't come through. I don't know if you can tell. But yeah. If I had my shorts on, like when I'm not working, my whole legs are just lit up with, with goosebumps. And you know, we don't need that to know that God's working. That's right. But it it happens all the time anyway, it's right? His presence. Because he already knows that I believe, and he already knows that you guys believe. Amen. So tell me, we're just going to wait on him, and you tell me what else. is that? Tell me when that heat it subsides and if it keeps going we're just gonna stand here and relax relax yeah. that is good so I'm not experiencing what you're experiencing so that's why I asked you to tell me yeah that is good what, what are you feeling the discomfort is going Discomfort's going. Yeah. What do you think about that? But I want him to take my two, kid my two kidneys and take all those stones out of there. We'll do that too. Tell me when you feel like he's done ministering. And then we'll speak to that. Well, we usually generally don't have to, but we're going to speak. We speak life. We have the power of life and death in our tongue. That's right. That's why we have to be careful when we get mad, right? When we get mad, what do you say sometimes? Things you wish you didn't. I, I do the given, same thing. I was given the call to be a pastor. Amen. Well, if you give him a call, he says all his gifts and uh, callings are irrevocable. Yeah. 
So if 30 years ago you were told or prophesied that you were going to be a pastor and you felt that gifting was on your life and you were doing it out of a right heart, not because you want to be somebody, but you want to help somebody, if, then that's irrevocable. I got also two gifts that he gave me. He gave me the gift of healing. Amen. And, and getting the dead up, getting and waking up the dead. Amen. He says to go out, preach the kingdom, preach the gospel, lay hands on the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out demons. Amen. And most churches don't do that. They don't. Yeah. As a matter of fact, they teach the opposite. Yeah. So who are they speaking for? If you're not speaking for God, who are you speaking for? He used to be a chaplain. He used to be a chaplain yeah. with the, with the uh, Air Force, Army? No, no. That was back when I was in Puerto Rico. I okay. was a chaplain. Nice. We were 21 of us. We, go, we used to go to the, to the hospitals and pray for people there. Yeah, so you still have that. I'm gonna just drop your hand. So are you still feeling that manifestation or something else? Because then we're gonna speak directly to your problems, the other ones, yeah, if you don't. Yeah, I'm just feeling like I'm just like in a wave. Isn't that something? Yeah. So I come out, I did things the hard way, and this is the way the hard way is. First of all, my friend Clay in 92 asked me to go to church in a Baptist church, and I was chasing all the three main things guys like. Uh -huh. Fill in the blanks, you already know what they are, right? Yeah. I did all that, I was good. And he's a really nice guy, raised in Anniston, Alabama, and he asked me if I wanted to go to church. And for some reason I said, okay. I went first time, I said, what's all this then? Second time, I'm like, I feel like I need to go down to the altar. That's right. And I usually start tearing up pretty good yeah. when I say that. So I went down there and I said, hey, what do I do? I, I, go to, I feel like I want to go down there. I said, will you go with me? He looked at me like, like this never happens. I said, I don't know. I figured at 24 years old, I'd already seen enough of that mm -hmm. stuff that you can't fill enough of you That's with. Right. And I went down. I went down there, and the next week I went and got baptized. Great, great. And he looked at me like, how you feel? I'm like, I don't know, kind of a big grin like a cat mm -hmm. who got something and chewed on it. Yeah. And he don't tell nobody about it. He also I knew. Got, he also has got the power of healing. Isn't that something? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so um, I'm sure I was probably going to go somewhere with that, but it doesn't matter. That whole story, but right now, do you still feel his presence in those waves? Oh, yes, it does. Right now, you feel those? Yes, I am. All right. So, uh, I just believe that he's going to minister to you. Amen. And he also is like he, when we're faithful and little, then he'll trust us with more. Right? Yes, so right. I've stood here and preached and talked and prayed long prayers, right? And like at some point, you're almost demonstrating that you don't have faith, right? So you're almost trying to make it happen. Uh -huh. So now 95% of the time, I don't say any words because I've already demonstrated to him that he knows I believe. Yeah. I never already done it. This is where I was getting at. Uh, fast forward to um, five years ago, I'd fallen away from the church because the things they were saying happens, no one was doing. Mm -hmm. Even in the churches that believe it, they say they believe it, but when you go there, they're not doing They're not it. Doing it yes. They talk about it, but nobody does it. And then five years ago, I went through my midlife crisis. I said, my midlife crisis without the sports car and without the girlfriend, it's the other one where you just start wondering what, what's life all about. Mm -hmm. Researched all the scientific stuff. And uh, you can look at gravity, magnetism, self-awareness, pick any of those science things. And um, you're gonna see three to seven pages on Wikipedia and it's going to go on and on and the scientific words get bigger and longer and yeah. more confusing and at the end of that you go okay you guys don't know either because mm -hmm. they really don't. They don't and if they don't know they assume that they're so confident in their ability to map it all out with science mm -hmm. that if they don't know it today they will know it you know what i'm saying sometime they will. so but i would when i got up to dna if you really start studying dna at some time you need to throw your hands up and go come on I mean, really, really, trillions, hundreds of trillions of cells, 
and little instructions and each cell is all the same instructions in every cell and it tells like with a binary system of male and female little egg little sperm and what happens becomes a person. it becomes a person and it's tiny mm -hmm. and it knows when to stop growing and if you look at the cell science it's it's just looking at the science in one tiny little cell is mind-boggling so when i got to that point i'm like okay lord i'm a, i'm almost back i just need that last little piece and i started looking at faith healers mm -hmm. like in the old 80s with benny um, uh benny hen uh -huh. and uh you know it's on tv so you don't really see that it's real plus yeah. you got all these cgi movies uh right so they can create anything so mm -hmm. and no one believes as a matter of fact, in Jesus' day, he did miracles right in front of people, and they still didn't that's believe. That's right, that's right. Yeah, so... They never believed him. So I did, this is where I was going, Osvaldo. I, I'm i like, well, if this is real, this stuff I'm seeing on TV, I need to find out. And the only way to find out if it's real is to go do it. Yeah. And I watched a couple thousand videos, and I finally got enough courage to go pray with great fear and trepidation, right? And the reason you're scared when you go up is, number one, you're not really sure if God's going to back you up, right? Yeah, and, if pre does. and preservation of self uh -huh. is where you say, what happens if nothing happens? Mm -hmm. Now I look mm -hmm. stupid. What's people going to say about us? That's the other one. What is it? What people are going to say about us. Yeah. Crazy. So that's preservation of self. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't, I love you, Lord, but I don't want to do that because I look stupid. Uh -huh. So now you haven't died to self. So I went up, prayed for the first guy. He had a headache. He's about 20 years old. David, he's about this tall from Egypt. He's Boston, 20 degrees outside. I prayed for his headache. It was so debilitating, he couldn't even look at me. Wow. And I put my hand on his head, and he looked at me like, whoa, what happened? Because all the pain left the first half part of his head, and he's like tapping the back, and I did it again. And all his pain left, and then he looked at me, and he actually collapsed into my chest and started crying. I'm like, well, what's happening? Because I didn't know. Because uh -huh. that's the first time I'd ever prayed. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so I teach people to come out to do it because uh, Jesus could heal anyone and did heal everyone that came to him. Mm -hmm. But he could physically could not get to everyone. That's right. Right? As a matter of fact, when Peter was saying, oh, no, this will never happen to you, about him going to the cross, what did he say to him? What did Jesus say to Peter? It's like, get behind me, Satan. You don't know, know what spirit yeah, you are. Yeah, get away from me, Satan. Who, who do you think you're talking Because to? you don't know the plan of God. Yeah. The plan is for Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. For us. And also, he says, if I don't go to the Father, to the right hand of the Father, I can't send the Helper. Uh -huh. I can't send the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is what fell upon them at Pentecost. Mm -hmm. It was also what uh, he gave them authority, the 70, when he sent them out, the 72. Right? To heal the, the sick, cast out demons, yeah, yes, right? right. He's, he gave them power. So that's the power that works through believers. Now, when we get people believing and out there doing it, now we can see a big a, a change in effect in a, in a, a mighty uh, victories across the whole U.S. That's now that right. we have more disciples and believers. Right. So do you still feel that presence or what do you feel now? Is it subsiding? Calm. Isn't that cool? So test out something. Is there something you would do in your body, Osvaldo, that normally you wouldn't want to do because it hurt? No, no. It just, it just, it was only my 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 comfort, my comfort from the stomach. Yeah, and it's all gone. Yeah. And you think that was related to uh, diabetes or something else? It was a gastric, gast gastritis. Gastritis. Yeah. Because okay. I was eating less and taking a lot of pills. Okay. So let's. Uh, I'll leave it where it is right now, and I'll stop the video. I'll, you have my card yes, sir. and I just so want to encourage other people to go out and do it watch my videos not because of me but because of what God does yeah, yeah. and then watch the thousands of videos out there mm -hmm. uh, to get people encouraged and then I, I take people out with zero pressure you've already done this and your your, uh, your son here yeah. right? he's already done all these things so all right uh, thanks Osvaldo thank, thank and, you uh, very much all God right bless. And, and say bye Lynn bye Lynn God bless <laughs>